We're in Islington, North London, to have a look at a project that's actually going to surpass the Interfit standard. Let's go inside and have a look at the Mayville Community Centre. I'm Rachel Witherick from Bear Architects. Um, the project that we're working on at the moment is the Mayville Community Centre. Um, it's a whole building energy retrofit refurbishment. Well, the project came into the office in about uh, 2007 um, and was initially maybe replacing the boiler um, as a biomass boiler um, and then it just um, grew and grew into um, the passive house refurbishment that we're working towards today. Obviously one of the main principles for Passive House is to insulate the building to ensure you're achieving sufficient new values through the walls. Um, so at the Mavel we're achieving that through external insulation or we've decided that we will excavate down to foundation level so that we can externally insulate um, the basement there, uh, walls yeah. as well as the above ground walls. So we'll have 200 mil of insulation going right down to basement footing um, below ground this will then be backfilled um, and the, insu the external insulation um, up the side of the building um, will be 300 mil thick. The external works will also include um, a large excavation um, in this garden area um, down to basement level so that we can put new openings, three new large openings um, into the basement wall um, which will come out onto a, into a light well terrace um, and be a part of the garden and that will allow natural light and solar gains on the south elevation to um, penetrate into the building. In the basement we um, obviously aren't really, can't really break out the existing slab so we're proposing to internally, internally insulate here um, which will just be um, about 100 mil of insulation with a floor finish on top of that. We had to allocate um, quite a considerable amount of space to um, accommodate our heat recovery unit uh, which will serve uh, the whole of the building. That will give adequate ventilation, which means that there's a constant supply of fresh air for um, people using the building, and so that you know there's no concern what, with the sort of air tightness or draft reconstruction. Yeah. The main um, objective internally was to rationalise the space. Um, previously, it was uh, sort of lots of small compartmentalised rooms. Um, we've decided to uh, clear it all out so you can see along here this will become one space which will have direct access out into the garden. This is the main kind of community hall. Um, we are rationalising the, the volume of that a little bit. Um, we've uh, increased the usable space by 35% mm. simply by replanning um, so that they have separate multi-use spaces yeah. that different groups can use at different times. And presumably that is actually helping improve your PHPP performance as well. Uh, our main contractor, we stipulated that they had to appoint an air tightness champion on yeah. site who would be well, the person that would be on site 100% of the time. A kind of um, responsible so, Yeah, so yeah. they're the primary sort of person who's responsible for yeah. making sure when all the trades, different trades come in, they, they, they all are aware of that mm. main objective of creating a you know, very airtight building. Our proposals include um, removing the existing roof, all of it including these roof lights and the ridge beam, um, and then building off the top of the existing roof truss. So we're strengthening them to um, take the sort of increased mm. uh, size of the roof. Yeah. And then we're building up um, with, in timber construction, 300 mil thick zone, which we will then insulate within. Um, and then we're also um, running a complete layer of insulation over the, the top of that, 100 I mil see, thick. Yeah. So we have 400 mil of insulation in the roof, um, which will mean that we have no thermal bridges. Yeah. The roof will also be completely airtight. Um, and is that, presumably if you're using timber construction, is that a membrane that you're, you're fixing to yeah, the outside? Yeah, we're applying or, an airtightness yeah, okay. membrane. We also um, are putting in new roof lights, two large fixed roof lights and three opening that will help with summer nighttime cooling. Um, these will be restricted to the south elevation right. so that we uh, restrict any heat losses to the north. We've had a fantastic opportunity here at Mayville Community Centre to see an extreme retrofit in action. There's about another eight or nine months to go on the project, and by that time I'm sure lots of more exciting things will happen. We're also interested in hearing what you think of this project, so please do get in touch.